healthy. This man was a, a hypocrite. In my honest opinion, he really was. I didn't find anything about him to be healing. He insulted uh, African-American women on a consistent basis. Uh, one of his last statements that uh, he said was that if you're over 38 and you haven't married or something like that, that you're no good and disposable. Um, to me, it was a shock jock. And, you know, I, I hope this is teaching folks a lesson about the karma that you put out the negativity that you put out in the world, that when karma comes knocking at your door, she might not be so kind. So, you know, the fact that he uh, killed over real quick and was uh, supposedly with a woman that we don't know, yet know the nationality. Um, rest in peace. Man, so the bitterness continues. This time is from Vivica Fox. Um, she needs no introduction. But she, once again, context is king. I doubt it with her busy schedule if she ever was sitting around watching uh, two hours of Kevin Samuels on a weekly basis. She probably never watched the show. Um, I keep hearing all of this stuff about him insulting black women and, oh, he constantly made black. He did that. That was his content for two years versus I don't know how many years where his target was black men and no one said anything. And here it is, almost a week after his death has been officially announced, and I still keep seeing black women taking shots at a dead man whose mother had to find out about his death on social media. She found out by seeing y'all tarnish her son's, you know, legacy and name, and y'all are still at it. I'm like, what, what is wrong with y'all, for real? But Vivica is basically an older version of the type of women that Kev was talking about in the first place. I think a week ago or whatever, before he passed, he said something about being over 35 and never being married, your leftovers. Look, she's like 55. She's still stuck on 50 cent 20 years later, which is really sad and, and desperate of her. She always brings that out when she got to promote something. She's got self-esteem issues. She's had all kind of different surgeries. Look at her face. That ain't just age. That's lips, lip surgery, cheekbones sucked in. She's got her own, you know, insecurities. You know, as she got older, you could see it because she started messing with her face too damn much. And I had the biggest crush on Vivica as a kid, but she looked like a blowfish now. And just seeing the, the disrespect of the dead, like, it's not like everyone I ever met that died, I had a perfect relationship with. Yeah, but I mean, come on, I didn't go to their funeral and stand up and talk shit about him either that's basically what y'all are doing i and i don't think his mother deserves that disrespect nor does his family over some some controversial it's a, it's a youtube show for god's sake yeah but when you start telling talking about somebody being a, a negative impact on the entire demo of black women and i feel for a lot of black women who was Look at all these black women that were being quote unquote disrespected on that show were clients. These were girls that called in voluntarily. Nobody made these girls call in. And the girls who got talked to to a certain way got talked to for a certain reason. Either that was the way they was bringing it to him. So he brought the, the, the sassiness back to them or he told them about themselves and told them the truth. But then when, like I say, when you don't like being told about yourself and you think that you're always right, which a lot of all women do, they can't handle this kind of banter. You know, and I'm like, y'all are really making all black women look bitter and shady right now. And not all black women feel this way, but a lot of y'all are really making it hard for black folk, black women right now. I'm like, good God, this is some sad shit. Way sadder than anything, you could, any clip you could pull up of him talking about some girl's weight. Or her being a leftover. You know, but these are some of the same chicks that are going to be like Vivica Fox, minus the star power and money, 50-something years old. You know, probably the neighborhood cat lady when it's all said and done. I could do it all by myself. I got me a good job. Okay, and you could be all by yourself, too. And you'll see how miserable you'll be. That money will not make you happy. Because ideally, nobody wants to be alone. That's just the facts.
But yeah, I just, just the the constant disrespect. It just won't go. And I'm just like, nobody on that panel checked her. Nobody on that panel said, hold up, Viv, come on, have some respect. You gonna call a man a hypocrite? The man just died. Like have some fucking respect. And I guess because they feel like he didn't respect all black women, you know. And like I say, context. Were you watching this show? Did you understand the 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 the, the show in itself? Because I don't recall black women being forced to call Kevin Samuels for advice and being forced to have to deal with the torture of his words. And, oh, my God, he said this. He said that. Like I said, y'all act like this man was Hitler or Vladimir Putin. Like, who did he kill for y'all to act like he was some kind of t terrorist? Like, oh, my God, it's, a, it's, it's funny. But then again, it's sick at the same time. It's really sick. And I don't know how anybody could defend this shit. I don't care how much you hated the man. That is no example of, of anything. That is disgusting, bro. That man was not a murderer. That man never, I don't think the man ever went to prison before. Man had a clean record and y'all are running around talking about this man like he bombed a church or he, y'all talk about him worse than white supremacists. Like, damn, I didn't see this much hate for, for George Zimmerman and some of these other people that killed black boys and took their lives. But y'all got y'all ready to walk. What are y'all going to do for his funeral? All y'all going to get together and march the streets of Atlanta? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what are y'all? This is, this is crazy, man. But Vivica Fox showed her true colors on who she really is. She's a bitter, older woman. Can't keep a damn man. And Kevin Samuels was basically telling her the truth about herself. She didn't like what she was hearing either. You know? But like I said in my other videos prior to this, y'all would rather be lied to than have someone tell you the harsh, cold, hard facts. Like, what was it? The the ice, cold, hard facts. Like cause, like cause Light says. The ice, cold, hard facts. He was giving it to you. You didn't like it. Now, the real truth seekers watch truth tellers like he was. And, you know, you got some black women who... Might have not liked everything he said, but they were intrigued by it and they knew it was some truth to it and they would listen to it. So, like I say, a good portion of those 1.5 million subscribers were women. Don't get it twisted and think it was just, what was it, the manosphere that was following Kev. It was a lot of women too. Um, so, cut that out, man. But hopefully we ain't got to keep going on about this. Hopefully y'all can finally have some goddamn respect and we can move on. But yeah, Vivica Fox, you are a piece of shit for that. Really uncalled for. And Shade Room, actually, I thought that was real tasteless too. They they put the they posted the audio, the nine one one audio call of uh whatever the, the his girlfriend or whatever woman was with him who found his body in his apartment, and she called you know hysterical. I thought that was real tasteless too. I mean, really, damn, isn't it too soon? You gonna put that out? Yeah, like that wasn't necessary. Like, come on, man. But yeah, it's just it's just a shame. 